very good morning to all of you i am anshu sharma your biology teacher and in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the sexual reproduction in class phycomycetes as you know the class phycomycetes include the lower fungi which can be further divided into two subclasses mastigomycetes and zygomycetes in class phycomycetes the sexual reproduction takes place by the zygospores zygospores that means the spores that develops from the zygote so in this class during the sexual reproduction the gametes fuse results in the formation of zygote and then that zygote will further divide to produce the spores that are called zygospores during the formation of zygote the gametes that are fusing they could be of two types they could be isogametes the gametes that are similar in morphology are called isogametes iso means similar and anisogametes anisogametes and iso means dissimilar the gametes that are dissimilar in morphology in external feature they are known as anisogametes so in class phycomycetes for the production of zygospore the gametes that are fusing they could be isogametes they could be anisogametes the example that we are considering here that was a member of zygote mycetes rhizopus as you know it is a bread mold rhizopus stolonifer in this fungus the sexual reproduction takes place by the conjugation between the two hyphae and that is why you know the subclass zygomycetes is also known as conjugation fungi and the reason is very clear so the conjugation takes place between the two hyphae of different strain strain means type so here you can see one of the hyphae is belonging to the negative strain equivalent to the female strain and one of the hyphae is belonging to the positive strain equivalent to the male strain so the sexual reproduction starts by the formation of lateral outgrowth and this lateral outgrowths are known as progametangia this progametangia one single single nucleus migrates into the progametangia and this structure is developed in next step a septa develops that separates the progametangia from the parental hyphae now you can see the phycomycetes is a class that include the fungi with aseptate hyphae but here a septa develops that separates the progametangia from the parental hyphae after the formation of septas now progametangia are known as gametangia with single nuclei in next step the both gametangia fused with each other that means they show conjugation this kind of a structure will develop after the dissolving the boundaries between them and now this is structure having the two nuclei one nuclei from negative strain one nuclei from positive strain in the last step what happens these two nuclei fuse with each other resulting in the formation of zygote nuclei and this the wall of uh, this structure is now known as the zygote who develops very thick wall now for the further development this zygote may remain attached to the parental hyphae and it may detach and can further develop into the new further develop the new spores so after the detaching detachment of the zygote from the parental hyphae a vertical outgrowth develops on the zygo uh, zygote this vertical outgrowth having a swollen tip and this swollen tip is known as the zygosporangium and this vertical growth that is having the zygosporangium is called the zygosporangiophore in this zygosporangium the cytoplasm is divided get divided into two part as similar we have discussed in the asexual reproduction the peripheral part that have the nuclei that part is known as the is uh, sporangioplasm and the central part having the vacuoles in the peripheral part the spores get developed and these spores are known as zygospores as similar that we have discussed in the asexual reproduction in the uh, rhizopus similarly we have to be spores develop honge when this zygosporangium got matured it got ruptured and when it is ruptured it release the spores now remember because this zygote is produced by the fusion of nuclei of positive and negative strain hyphae that is why the spores that are produced here 50% of the spores will are of the positive strain and 50% spores are of the negative strain when these spores are released they are they are traveled into the air and then they get uh, settled on a surface and if they get the favorable condition so the positive strain is spore will develop into a positive strain hyphae and negative strain spore will develop into a negative strain hyphae and then further develop the mycelium of the fungi so this is how the rhizopus completes its sexual reproduction 
so the first step is the formation of lateral outgrowth they are the progamete angia then a septa develops that converts progamete angia into the gamete angia with single nuclei both progamete angia shows conjugation after conjugation between them the nuclei also get fused and wall become thick that is that structure is known as zygote zygote may detach from the parental hyphase it will germinate a vertical outgrowth appears with a swollen tip the tip is known as zygosporangium and the outgrowth is known as zoo zygosporangio 4 in this zygosporangium the zygospores are produced half of the zygospores are a positive strain half of them are negative strain when the zygosporangium ruptured release the spores and spores develop into their respective hyphase thank you very much for watching the video